Hey guys, Will here, and I got some new headphones. These are the Audio-Technica ATH M50Xs, which are some pretty awesome headphones. They sound great, and I actually got them refurbished, which saved me about 50 bucks on Amazon, um, which was a good deal considering they look brand new. They, they work fine, and it comes with the original box and all the accessories inside as well. So it's a good way to save some money if you want to. Um, but the one problem I'm having is when I'm done, I always just sort of leave them on the desk like that. It takes up space, the wire hangs wherever it goes, and it kind of bugs me. So I wanted to do something about that. So I'm going to, going to design and 3D print a wall mount hanger for them. So it sort of cleans up the de desk area and just gets them out of the way when I'm not using them. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I wanted to do was make the general shape of the base of it. I was going to have a round top with sort of round cutouts cutting into it. So that's what the two circles on the side are going to sort of make that cutout shape to it. Almost like a V. I played with the size and position of the outer circles a little bit before finding more or less what I liked. And then I connected the two with the line going across them. After that, I trimmed away all the excess lines and extruded this shape out. Then I needed to make the surface for the headphones to actually hang on, and so I made a couple circles within each other, uh, the outer circle being about 5 and 3 quarter inches diameter. That ended up being a pretty good curve, and then extruded that, that out far enough for the headphones to actually hang on without uh, hitting the wall. I created a small lip on the end of it to prevent the headphones from falling off. Uh, this was a pretty simple design, just a semicircle that was then extruded backwards. And then I added fillets pretty much all over the place just to kind of give it a nice smooth round surface with no sharp edges. I then added a corbel to help support the weight of the headphones. And I did this just by creating an arc. Uh, between the two parts sticking up and then a couple lines to fill it in and then just extruding that um, from the center in both directions. I played around with fillets for a little bit on the core bowl to get a shape that I thought was pretty good. After that, I added fillets all around the edge of the um, piece, just to give it no sharp edges sticking out. And that was it. Time to print. Okay, so the final version is now done and printed. Um, it came out okay. That was my first time using Craftware, and the top layer, as you can see, has uh, maybe you can see it has some holes in it. Um, so I need to play with the settings on Craftware a little bit more to get really good at it. But I think that software is pretty good. It has some potential once I get really good with it. Um, so that's cool. But anyways, this is the third version of it actually, and. The original one was this big guy, and the idea behind him, it's whatever, uh, was that when I'm done, I would fold up the headphones, hang it on like this, and then wrap the cable around here. And after sort of playing with that, I realized that's not going to be very practical. I'm probably not actually going to wrap the wire around it, and having to fold them up is kind of annoying to get it on. So I back to the drawing board and kind of simplified it a lot more and basically just kept it with the top part of it um, and this was my first time using the craft for software printing this one the other one was the big one was done with Cura and so this is the first one with craftware and the holes on the top were really bad so I I know I wouldn't be happy with that so I went to reprint it but when I did that I sort of decided I might as well adjust the design um, a little bit more to make it a little bit better. So that's where I came up with this one where it doesn't stick out as much. Um, it's about I don't know, half an inch shorter and then the 
lip around here is much smaller and small enough that it does not need uh, any supports, which helps to give it a nice clean finish that I don't have to deal with later on. So, this is the final version of it, and yeah, let's get this thing mounted and see how it works. I took a strip of adhesive mounting tape and cut it into three smaller pieces. I then attached each one to the back of the hanger, but I left the uh, red protective covering on them. And then I was able to figure out more or less where I wanted to put it on the wall, and then I peeled off the red covering from the mounting tape and attached it to the wall. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe so you know when more of my videos come up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.